Hi there everyone and welcome to PS4 and I'm looking at um, a new title free to play um, on PlayStation Network at the moment called Load Out which is a, a third person shooter and as you can see from the, yeah, the young lady carrying the big gun there probably not to be taken too seriously. Um, those are the three characters you get to choose from to play um, whether more or not later on I have no idea and the game throws you straight into campaign uh, kind of almost as a, a training thing it's a third person shooter so you've got an over the shoulder look here and campaign is a four player co-op horde mode essentially there is a point that you have to protect from waves of enemies and I think it's three or four waves you have to manage and when all the enemies are done you win the round uh, and that's it I've played three or four levels of the campaign and it is a point and you just have to protect it from the aliens. There really isn't much of an explanation as to who or what the aliens are and why they're about but I'm not sure this game is necessarily going to be based on a sterling story. It is more about big guns shooting the bits out of as many people as possible. So there you go, that's the area that I have to um, to protect. And the guns feel pretty good but aiming is, is a bit bizarre. Um, one of the things in particular is that rather than just having kind of good hit detection um, to let you know when you are hitting an enemy it will pay a little tone now my um, pop the volume up on a clip uh, it's coming up in just a second so you can hear that listen for the little chime when I'm actually shooting the alien so I'll be quiet for a second and uh, listen out to this so every time you hit one of the aliens a uh, little noise plays which I found to be honest to be a little bit on the weird side um, I say I'm not the best shot in the world uh, but at the same time I was missing far more than I would have done in say Destiny or any, uh, any other shooters like that uh, so I think they need to do some tweaking on that um, some people like the hardcore there's no auto assist or anything like that going on but um, aiming and running and gunning it's reasonably fluid but just feels a little bit hit and miss uh, probably try to encourage you actually to upgrade weapons uh, but we'll come to the problem with that oh yeah and gory just blew my top half off and running around blood gouting everywhere um so it's not just the campaign mode there is also various multiplayer levels uh reasonable um uh, reasonable diversity of them uh, there are five currently um pretty traditional ones the one that you'll see in the footage in a minute is a um a kill confirm one so to get the point you don't have it's not just about killing the guy it's about killing and then collecting whatever he drops um eight players so you get reasonable sides here um and the levels they've got some nice verticality to them um they're quite big there's plenty of cover and uh, little hidey holes to sneak behind people um and it is good fun most of the weapons um certainly the default weapons that you don't have to pay for more about in a minute um are quite fun not massively accurate but you'll see a beam weapon, oh you can see bits of me falling off here um, <laughs> I've just got my eyeballs and my brain, there we go um, you can pick up drop weapons and uh, there's a beam weapon you see later on which is one that's just you can pick up either from a drop or from the death of another character um, you know it's, it's fun it's got a nice quirky vibrant colourful art style to it um, the three characters, uh, if you're prepared to pay a load of money, are very customizable. Uh, if you're not prepared to pay any money, not customizable at all. And you can just run around and have a bit of fun. I think also if you're playing with some friends online as well, that's going to be... It's a kind of game that's a good party kind of game. Get your mates together and play it with people you know. Um, I played three or four of these just uh, on a pickup group. And so it was good fun, but got a bit tired very quickly um, but my biggest problem with loadout is it's free to play which is brilliant but most free to play titles oh God, look at all that blood most free to play titles do actually give you an element of um, free stuff to play with some free customization some ability to progress through the game without actually having to spend money and the money you spend is around accelerating the way you move through the game no, Clash of Clans, which is just a nice little mobile game, you can actually complete that game without ever spending any money at all. It's just going to take a very, very long time. Not so, unfortunately, with this game. Pretty much everything in this game requires gold. You can see there, these are the customization options. There are no 
customization options other than the defaults that are available. So you've got we've got not even a little gift of a couple of different ones to try out. Everything to customize your character is to be paid for via gold, and we'll show you a couple of slides in a minute that will show you how much the gold costs. Um, oh God, that's really just disturbing, isn't it? Um, so it's not giving you any options to play. I mean, yes, you get guns unlocked at level three and another gun unlocked at level five. Those are your two options. So you end up with four sets of guns that you can use. You have to pay to unlock at other levels. So it restricts you. Now you can see here with the guns and the gun models are very nice and they're good fun. You can name them. Big Betty is what I named mine. Um, and you can see here that the upgrades for the guns cost gold. Even the things that you pick up in the level, they're not there for free. The only ones you've got are the ones that were um, there with a the gun. And also avatars. You can see a few of these are locked, and you might unlock them through progress, not sure, but some of them again come with a cost. My view is this is very much overly um, microtransactioned. Again, okay, you can see loadouts. You've got one loadout slot, and then the others are unlocked in the store. So you've got no option if you want to have more than one loadout, or you load out or you more than one character and you're not really fiddling around before a game trying to get swap them all around, you've got to pay cash. So I think it's a bit cynical in that respect. It seems to be saying, well, there's a basic game here, but cough up. Uh, these slides I took from the PlayStation Network, so you can see how much space bucks actually physically cost. Um, now, generally, if it's a good game, I will, I will pay once, at least, uh, to support the, the developer. But... There's no point in paying 70 quid on a free-to-play game just to level up. I mean, it's not a AAA title. It's not worth it. Um, guns are cool. And then when you ju just to show you a bit of fun while I wrap up, this is where you go to test the guns. And you can see the, you know, the way this game works. It's, you know, there's a hole and his eyes and, you know, he grabs his crotch. My personal view of Loadout is that it's a diverting, fun game. Um, I'm not going to play it to the extent where I'll feel the need to um, pay, spend any money on it at all. It hasn't engaged me that much. Uh, I actually find some of it a little bit gross out. It's like a Faraday Brothers movie, I think, you know, like Dumb or Dummy, either love it or you don't. Um, it's not necessarily one that's going to appeal to me massively. However, it is fun, get some friends together, and I think it is well worth the play. Um, but bear in mind that customization is definitely locked into microtransactions, which I find a little bit it's a little bit too much, to be honest, for my taste. However, that's Loadout. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, like, favourite and subscribe if you have to all of the sociables. Oh, look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Uh, oh, that's just horrible. Um, so, as always, happy gaming, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.